such a cute hairstyle. Here's what it looks like from the back. Maybe I've been watching a few too many DIY YouTube videos, but I have been getting this itch to cut my own hair. I've given my husband haircuts for years, I give both of my kids haircuts, but the last thing that I have definitely not done is cutting my own hair. I sometimes am not always happy when I get my hair cut at a salon because I want it in a particular way. I like the back being very tapered, I like a good amount of layers, curtain bangs in the front, lots of long layers, and still keep some of the length in the back but maybe not quite as long as it is right now. I want to be able to put my hair up in a ponytail and have like cute little things in the front but long enough to tuck behind my ears, you know? I'm still a mom so I want to keep things in place so I thought I would do a little cutting my hair with you and maybe if you feel so inclined you can follow along and cut your own hair into long layers. Just as a little background, I combined a couple of different YouTube videos that have somewhat of the style that I'm going for. I'm mashing them together and trying to do the easiest way. I will link a couple of videos that I referenced just in my brain down below. I think this is gonna be easy. I mean, maybe I'm overconfident but I think I can do this. You're gonna need a few supplies. I have hair cutting scissors, thinning shears, I have a rat tail comb, and three hair ties. So the first step that I did before I started is I actually straightened my hair. My hair is naturally a little bit wavy. There are kind of two different methods people go about this. They either straighten their hair and cut it dry or they wet it down and cut it wet. So I'm going to separate my hair into a front section. I'm gonna start with the apex of my head, the topmost part of my head, and I'm just going to make a line that goes down on either side to behind my ears. Basically, we are making a unicorn horn. You make sure it's all combed really flat and smooth and that it's pretty much even on both sides going back. And I'm just gonna tie that at the front of my forehead. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. The back sections, I'm just gonna slice my hair in half. I'm gonna do a ponytail on each side. This is really a statement. Now I got these three sections. <laughs> We're just gonna focus on this front part for right now. We're gonna decide about how long we want the very front shortest part of the layers to be. I think they were about here to start with and I want it at least like an inch or so shorter. I'm gonna be cutting right to here. Oh my god. <laughs> That's wild. So these little edges, we don't want it to be super blunt cut so I'm going to point cut. Aim the scissors up perpendicular toward the hair. Snip along the edges to make it a little less blunt. You can divide it into sections if you have really thick hair like me. Okay, I feel like that's looking a lot better. So that's it for the front section. I'm going to take one side down and divide it into a front half and a back half. I'm gonna tie away the back half. And then I'm going to let this down. Whoa. Looking all right, we got some layers. So now the longest bit here, I'm gonna take my comb. I'm gonna brush this up at a diagonal. And there should be a point at which the front half and the back half meet. I can see my hair ending right here. So I'm going to the end of where that hair meets and I'm going to go one inch further. <laughs> and then I'm going to do that same thing again where I point cut the ends to make it less blunt and blend in better. If there's any unevenness between the two, I can kind of even that out. Next, I'm letting out that last chunk of hair and we're going to repeat that same process. Take a little bit of that previous layered area. We're gonna brush this diagonally upward and we're gonna find where that hair ended, which I believe looks to be right here. And then I'm gonna go one inch further Okay, let's see how it's all coming together. Not bad, not bad me. Look at that. Okay, I feel like I could still do a little finessing. All right, let's try the other side now. I feel like my hair is borderline way too thick. I should have done three back sections. <laughs> this is where the hair is ending. I feel like I'm holding my breath the whole time. Now, the last section. All right. 
So that's it. I feel like I ate some hair. <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's see how it looks in the back. And then these front pieces. I can tuck it behind my ears. So if I'm washing my face, it's not just falling all over my face. I think I'm still gonna do a little bit of like thinning out with my thinning shears. Oh man, I love it so much. All right, so I thinned it out a little bit at the edges just cause my hair is super, super thick. But this is the final. All the layers are cut. Feels so much lighter. Obviously this is what it looks like pinned straight, so I wanted to just show you what it looks like with styling it. I just did the fastest little like two minute blowout with my Revlon hot air brush. I'll link it down below in case you're interested. I think I love this. So I just added a few loose curls just to give it a little body and so you can see what it looks like fully styled. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. It feels a million pounds lighter. Lengthwise, it feels like I didn't do a whole lot, but let me just show you this giant pile of hair that is on the floor by my feet. Literally, that translates to how it feels on my head. And if I wanna put my hair in a ponytail, how cute is that? I still have my length in the back. For me, this is the perfect haircut. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I would love it if you would try it out. Hit thumbs up if you found it interesting or helpful. And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see any more videos about fashion, beauty, makeup, skincare, tutorials, even family and babies and stuff. I have it all. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.